Hi, you know, Chris and Gavi, Team Chav, back for a pick up video, uh, pick ups, general chat, really about the uh, Super Games Fair. Well, it wasn't the Super, it's just the Retro Games Fair, wasn't it? It's the Retro Games Fair yeah, pick up video. It's not the Super Retro Games Put Fair. Put that in the one. title Retro Game Fair pick ups video. I know, and banter. Well, not banter. <laughs> Whatever. We'll see how banterish we get. Yeah. Right. But, what? I was, I was just going to say, oh just crack on. What were you going to say? I don't know. You can't leave it on a knife edge like that. <laughs> I don't know, I was going to say, I was going to explain more what we just explained. Uh, it's a pick up video and general talk about the retro games fair. Yeah, you're just repeating yourself now. Right, do you want to go, you, well, you bought the first lot, didn't you? Do you want to, do you want to go first then? Yeah, yeah. I think there's pretty much all my purchases were... From the one stall? Yeah. Did you get all four at once? No. This first stall, by the way, yeah. was uh, she gave us a card. It was uh, Jenna Potter, and her stall was called Game Tech. Yeah, really good on prices. Yeah, yeah, um, good prices, and then she was willing to come down a bit. I mean, they say sale on them, like. Yeah. But she has a shop somewhere with a other half, I think. She said some of the games were other halves. So. Yeah, well, there was one that she wouldn't go down on because it actually said it was her like other halves and they had the price on. Yeah. But it was already reduced out like 20 quid from 30 or something. It was really good. I mean, no no shock here, but they were Zelda games. You've seen in the video, but these are just another The Legend of Zelda. Is that the first one? It's the first one, yeah. From the Game Boy Advance. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. On the original Game Boy. So is that a bit like Link to the Past? It's a lovely box. Because the box looks yep. just like Link to the Past box, like. It's even got the same, same, same writing and logo. everything. Yeah, and it's a gold box just like Link to the Past. Yeah, why? Is it just like. It's kind of the same graphics and style. Is it and the Game like Boy that? version of yeah, Link to the Past? Pre like? Pretty much so. You haven't played it, have you? I don't play, know what you're talking no, about. Yeah, do you? I've been halfway through it, but I went on the DX version. <laughs> Um, cause it's black and white. Yeah, but I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil anything about the story. But spoiler uh, alert! It's black and white. <laughs> no, not that actual story itself. It's uh, supposed to be a dream, isn't it? Oh, I just spoiled it for everyone. <laughs> so it's not one of the three story arcs. No, it's a dream. Well, yeah, it is. It's in there. Well, the same as. Is that why it's Link's awakening at the end? Does he wake up? Yeah. You wouldn't know, you've never completed you've just said yeah, I've only been halfway through, how do you know? Because I know these things. Wikipedia strikes again, isn't it? Pretty much so. Oh, then the last one was Ocarina of Time 3D. Ooh, gold fox variant. Oh, oh. Comes bundled with the 3DS. With no game, and it has no game in, has it? Of course, it's smart, yes. This one's reversible cover. Look at that, Gav. I ah, see the crease you just put in it there oh, when you pulled it out. Reversible cover, Zelda. <laughs> so does that mean that you need to buy it again? Yeah, well, the worst thing is, just I'm gonna get this one three times, don't I? You know what's good about my stuff? I only have to get them once. Yeah, but because it couldn't have been the other way around, why couldn't the normal release be reversible? If this one being with the 3DS bundle, I've got to get it twice to reverse it, and a third time in with the 3DS. Why don't you just get it twice, once in with the 3DS? Because I want done sure. But the box that you get, you want to put inside the 3DS. S box. Yeah, I want my 3DS box complete. Well, why don't you just put the empty box on shore? Because then I won't be happy knowing that's an empty box. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be full and complete. All these boxes up here, these are all empty. Stuff like that. It's all empty. The games are out, the games are all there, so I don't have to open and close the box every time I want to play it and damage the box. If I'm not playing my no, oh. I just. Uh, I suppose you got two of the three other games to play. Exactly. Think, yeah, you don't have to open that one. Right, um, from the same stall, yeah, I, I went through it twice, once at the end of the day and once at the start, and at the start of the day, I picked uh, Castlevania. Castlevania? <laughs> Castlevania, Curse of Darkness up. Uh, 22.50, now 20. I think I got it for 17, maybe 17.50, something like that. Uh, I don't think that's a bad price considering it's sealed. Yeah, sealed. Which I'm gutted about because it means I can't play it. Yeah, you can't open a sealed game. I can know. You? What's Especially that all about? Especially for S2. Yeah. 
So I'm going to have to buy it again to play it. Is, it, is that supposed to be a good game? I don't know. Played the 360 3D one. I really enjoyed that. I um, can't remember what you call it. Shall we open it, Cal? If you want to feel angry. Can we open it? No, you can't. Oh. If anyone gets to open it, it's me. And the second time, sorry, was uh, it was an original Xbox game, uh, Project Zero. Well, that's not the sale part. I know that. <laughs> they didn't know that. Uh, Seven fifty. Now it costs a fiver. So I just gave her a straight fiver for it because I thought we only deal in notes according to Retro John Doe. Yes, yeah, I apparently so. We only deal in pound notes, so it's like she won't knock it down and out. But no, five of uh, Project Zero on the original Xbox, I'm happy to pay that. I think it's about a quid cheaper than what eBay. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe it's a bit more. So that was the first stall. Game Tech. Yeah, very good stall, actually. First time I've kind of seen and dealt with her. And, um, yeah. Hopefully we'll do more deals because her prices are awesome. Yeah. And I mean, she had a lot more Zelda when I first walked up with all good. Retro John. Was there uh, getting stuff? Scalping. Scalping, yeah. Because <laughs> the prices were that good. Oh, yeah. It always happens, doesn't it? Actually, that happens. wasn't even the first store we went to, was it? No. This was no, the first store, wasn't it? Uh, RSPC, yeah. Yeah. Go on, f finish what you were doing and then I'll No, that was it. Yeah, I was just kind of saying, yeah. There you are then. Um, RSPC, yeah, last year was brilliant. Like, oh, it was. was it last year, yeah, it was last like, No, it was in the beginning of this year, wasn't it? No, it was last no, year, last the year, end of last year, yeah. Christmas, one of They were the one that was selling everything for like 50 pence, every game, 50 pence. Yeah. A pound for PS3 and 360 and that. I mean, I got like Super Mario Galaxy yeah. for 50 pence, didn't I? Trading um, it in straight away for a quid, the same day at CEX. So we, we got in and straight away it was just swarming around yeah, the RSP. Everyone I mean, knew. The prices were more competitive this year, but Did still, they, they, they had been picked. I mean, I saw... I think it was Gavin. He was selling on. Uh, he was helping a lot of the stalls, yeah. you know, just walking from stall to stall. Like if they needed a break or something, he would jump on the stall. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. Um, I saw I saw him with about five face yeah. one games in his hand. I thought, <laughs> To be fair, by the time we got there, all that was left was stuff that was uh, from the last one. I think so I did notice a couple yeah. of stuff, and like yeah. it was just all still decent price, but nothing special really. Mm. Well, I picked up two things anyway, yeah. 50 pence each. I've got a Buster Move 2, PS1. Can't complain for 50 pence yeah. for a Buster Move game. It's, it's always one, fun. Yeah, yeah. big boxes and brilliant, like. But 50 pence for a PS1 game and 50 pence for Frequency, a puzzle type game by the look. I haven't played it yet, actually. It looks. If it's a rhythm game where you're timing and stuff, I'll be near good at it because I've got no rhythm at all. <laughs> at all, <laughs> I'm terrible. I can't clap properly. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. <to say. laughs> but uh, I still enjoy them sometimes. I I give it a go and see what see what I'm like. Yeah, got some decent music. I need tracks from Paul Oakenfold, no doubt. He was a uh, mate. House manifesto. <laughs> house one, he Paul Paul Oakenfold, or was he rave or something? Dance. Right. I don't know. Some up beef with a bass. Possibly. Right, uh, you next or what else you're on? Well I've I've got these two, a couple of Wii games. Where were I from? Uh, yeah, this was just a random guy and uh Well you don't show them off Yeah then. I might as well. I was just going around uh just looking on the stores, you know, out that looked interesting. Bit of money left and uh so these like about four or five way games. Pick these up and they look kinda of clever like, yeah. Kinda of clever. <laughs> Interesting. Uh one's Cursed Mountain. That's the guy what it was like. He says he's a bit like Resident Evil type almost. It Except looks... on a mountain. I will be honest, it's the cover that drew us into that. Yeah. Same for this like. Yeah, that's a good cover that way. Yeah. And he says this one's a really good game, like. I can't remember. Build, trade, destroy. That's what it says. Uh, it's called Blastworks, and like I say, just a bit of eight bit type graphics yeah. on the front, which just drew us in there. Thought that might be alright, like. So he says that was a really good game. That one, like, 
I'll go and say anything for yeah, a Yeah, just say anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you try to sell something, it looks quite cool. Um, that was that was up for six, and that one was for four, so a ten or eight. Yeah. And what did I pay? I got them both for seventy, seventy seven. Sorry, it's a shoot now. This actually. Yeah, it's a bit of a asteroid shooter type Unlock thing. four games, something. including the original to to I make think your fighters. He said something about you can take your guns off the enemies or something like that, or you can build your own guns yeah. on the fly. So I think I've been meant to play this, but I've just been playing this other game that I got off Red Road John since I came back really yeah. like so I'll tell you what that is after Chris has told you what it is. Yeah, if I talk about Retro John. Well, you're ready to go to him now like I said yeah, I yeah. did get Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. So that's two Le Link's Awakenings I got on that today and on that day. This is the DX version which is I think it's an extra, extra dungeon and it has colour. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. That's black and white at the bottom, Game Boy screen. Game Boy colour screen and Game Boy colour screen. Yeah, because you can play it on the Game Boy still, can't you? But it won't put colour on the original Game Boy. That's terrible, I'll have to put that. What's he got a printer on the top for? Can you, can you pause it and print the screen on? You must be able to, why? I don't know. To be a fair gaffer, I don't know. Don't so you have the printer first. Oh, you got the camera, didn't I've you? I've got the camera, I've got uh, the printer. I'm looking for it. If I see one decent, I'll pick it up. But no, Retro John, he actually bought that. From the same place as I got the other games. Yeah, that was the one that he scalped off you, wasn't it? Yeah, but you pestered him and pestered him. Yeah, and he gave us uh, like we well, didn't he give, did us give it. us that. <laughs> yeah, and, and he like put in his own stall. I went later and I said, "Have you got them games up?" He says, "Which ones?" He says, "The ones you got earlier." He says, "Ah, you just out there." I looked, and he pretty much gives it for the price he paid, anyway, didn't he? Um, good customers, that's why. Yeah, like you have good crack with the lad. I just, we, we don't even know his real name. I do. I looked it up actually. I got the map and seen, seen what he was called because he says he doesn't have a name for the thing. Uh, that was him there, number 14. Alright. Well, not safe for yeah, tax well, reasons. Well, not safe because the thing is, like, say with, with Joe Oak, he says I really need a name. Yeah. So we just kind of said at the, not, what happened at the event before, I just thought about Retro John. He's one of my names, not John. <laughs> so, but it just stuck at it. Yeah. I think he went home and he was telling us that he um, was speaking to his missus the night before, saying about like getting a business name. And he says, What about Retro John? And every business says, But you're not called John. <laughs> he says, I know, but I was thinking it was a good name. <laughs> so I literally haven't had one John, John. <laughs> <laughs> I think after people know him as Red Road yeah. John now, don't they? I know Ben does, one girl's on a uni now. Yeah. I think Lee knows him as that now yeah. as well. But he's good. Nice. Honestly, he always does his fantastic deals. Oh, um, he's he's cracking bloke, aye. Right? Tell me why, do you want to show what you Yeah, I'll show like, you uh, what I got off him. Uh, well, the first one I picked up was this. It was for 50 quid, like. And it's, uh, you've probably seen it on the video, it's The Secret of Evermore. And this is the game that I haven't stopped playing since I got it. It's a cracking little game, like. And uh, I picked it up and I was looking. I must have just had that look on my face to say, this box is horrible, like. I've cleaned it up since then, it looks pretty nice, like, to be honest. Obviously, it's still a bit tidy, but what can you do, you know? You can't clean a box any more than it will go. Um, so I, look, I was looking at it, and then I looked up at it, and John was looking at it, and he says, I'll do you a discount on that if you want, <laughs> if you want it. And I just looked at it. So somebody's put some tape around there says, who puts tape on boxes? He goes, well it obviously wasn't me, was it? <laughs> <laughs> so I says, oh what kind of discount are we talking then? He says, it depends if you're buying anything else. So I had a bit more luck, a bit more skulking around. And I picked these two up. Uh, picked up Toe Jam and Earl, Planet on Funkatron. Panic on Funkatron. Uh, 20 quid on it. And uh, Rocket Knight Adventure which also had 20 quid on and I just had all of them and he looked over and he says I'll give you one of the Mega Drive games for free so it's like 20 quid off straight away well, I think I said before didn't I ask for your yeses if yeah. I, I, what you're thinking of I'd go for like 75 but then yeah, so it went down to 70 even lower than what we even said anyway you said yeah you did that, you did that to me for the last two weekends you what do you mean putting deals in my mouth that are very good <laughs> Like, they are good, like, that one was good. But, uh, I said, ah, hold up, I'm still looking. And then I picked this up, uh, another Mega Drive game, Strider on the Mega Drive. And Chris goes, you're going to have to pay a full price for that, mate. I'm going to believe when you took them all in. <laughs> and I says, we'll see. 
So I gave him all three, comes to 100 quid altogether. And I said, so what's all them going to cost then? Four, four, sorry. And he looks and he goes, 75 pounds to you. And I was like, that'll do me, John, that'll do me. So I got Strider for a fiver, which is cracking like, I'm happy with that. Like I said, I've not put that down since I got it. No map, but instructions in it, which I'm yeah. glad. There was another well, one. Yeah, you got that for a fiver, and you got a free game though, didn't you? Like 75 quid for all that. Oh yeah, well it's basically like I got, it's basically I got Rocket, yeah. Rocket Knight Adventure for free. And a fiver not pushed And I got a fiver, <laughs> that for a fiver. And 50 quid for that a, is a crap price It's anyway. a good price anyway, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, they can for like 80 quid on the beer. They get deals like that from, yeah. a, from a fair, but it's spot on really, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. They are, I think they all try to like, at least beat eBay prices at these things. Now, I mean, some, obviously you get the ones who go for eBay and some of them that go over eBay, but... Yeah. If you have a bit of a clue, well, I think it helps doing what we do. We we we, we like to think that we get to know all the sellers there. You know what I mean? We went there in the morning. And I we, think we just talk to them that much that they give us a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, we pretty much went round just chatting to everyone. Then we went back and did some buying. Then we were there all day till so we went round the end of the day and once we spent a good ten minutes even up more kind of each other. I mean, right. which sellers there was retro John. We spent a bit time. We didn't with. get much crack with uh, sore thumbs at at Leeds. Because they were snowed under, pretty yeah, much right. I think one or two of them didn't turn up. Or I think it was understaffed by one at the start, and then someone came to give him a hand later, and it was just yeah. busy for them all day long. So we didn't get much of a chat with them, but we caught up with them at Doncaster yeah. the next week anyway. So in retro, and we spent some good bit of time talking. Retro oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was good to see Retro because we never saw him for a full year. I yeah, mean, no one says what if he's recognised. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sharp as well. You must right, be nice. a big fan. You're right, Retro. Right, 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 yeah, how do we? Did you not get out from him? I thought we got something from him. No, not from that one. I thought I got something from him from that one. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know, I've got left pick up wise. That's from it from there, unless yeah. I've put it in a different bag or something. Because I normally yeah. just leave all my pick ups to one side. Well, before I'll show you that, before we start winding down and talking about the event properly. Oh, have you still got one? I'll still have like two more, yeah, because I literally. Bit from there. Retro Reload. Retro Reload. Last yeah. purchase of the day. It was literally, everyone was unpacking up and I was just flicking through. Um, well, in fact, I wasn't really expecting to buy. I was just joking at the guy. I said, hold the camera and uh, just film us up the games or the old pad shot or something. And I was like, oh, hang on, there's some games I actually want in there, yeah? And uh, I'm excited to buy them. It's actually Time Crisis Project Titan, a gun game on a PlayStation 1. And um, Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube. And um, got Link in, so goes to my collection. Um, what would you up for? 15? You got for a tenner, didn't you? Yeah, no, I got for 11.50. Did you? Yeah. You, you wouldn't go for a tenner? No, I went for a tenner and he um, wouldn't take it. I said the same, so it's the last, last deal of the day, you wouldn't do it, and I think you, went, you wouldn't do it. But I've got, gone down to 11.50, so still. 3.50 knocked off, still a good price, really. Yeah. Yeah, because I think um, that was 7, and that was 8, and I think you give us that one half price, and pay full price for that one. Yeah, like I said, that was all my pick ups of the day. It was a cracking day, really, wasn't it? I would say seven for a time crisis is a bit high, like to be honest, Chris. Right, I got it for free. I would expect to get it for a fiver. The thing with gun games is, not many people can play them these days. PS One, PS Two ones. Yeah. Obviously, there's like the likes of us who can, but the general public, not as much, you know. Yeah. Not that the general public can out and buy PS One and PS Two games I anymore. Some people do try and collect more. You got some nice. I want to shop there, a nice selection of gun games, haven't you? But since so, so I want to try and build up one, get all my gun games. I never played this one before. Yeah, I've only played it once or twice, like. I never played it back in the day. It's basically just. Yeah, you got two discs in there. Die Hard Trilogy! <laughs> I've never known, I've, I've never opened this up properly, I'd love, but there's a loose copy of Die Hard Trilogy in there. Well, that might knock it up to the 7 quid price. That's <laughs> yeah. a good price then. £2 for a loose copy of Die Hard Trilogy. Yeah, I never even opened it up to check there. For all I know, I might have even had the disc in. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm bad for that, like not checking through the discs. Not checking the stuff out there now, actually. I've had a look at it. Yeah. No, but like you say, um, as for the day itself, it was. We did actually meet up with a couple of other people there. Um, Lee, we met him at the train station, retro game at it. And we yeah. spent literally all day and one until night with him. He was the one that was and looking for a pint all day. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Was on a unicycle. He was there as well. I know, but stop rushing, man. We're talking. I'm trying on to get, I'm trying to get Lee a bit of time. You know what I mean? I see he helped us out, held the camera every now and then. You know what I mean? He was a didn't break it this time. Didn't break it this time, no. Yeah. Yeah. Like shout out for Lee for that. Yeah. Then like you say, and then. We met them. Can I say it was a bit. We were supposed to meet them on the morning straight away, but um, I think he had need to wait on his phone. He said, and we, and we messaged through WhatsApp and Messenger and stuff. Yeah, well, I tried phoning them as well, but yeah. once we were in the Marriott, like there was just no phone signal at all. But it got like ten o'clock. We hadn't heard nothing from. We're thinking, is he, is he even coming? And then, like saying, I think we were actually talking to Rich Andre as well. Yeah. Then the clock on it, and he just appeared up behind us and like jumped on us. We all right, lads, away you been? Like, oh, you're right. <laughs> it was but, funny because by that time I forgot. I forgot he was coming. You know. <laughs> but I think he'd be Not there to say it's like, forgettable, but I, I, like we would, I was in the zone looking through all the games and everything at that time, you know. And he's like, "Oh Christ, Ben's here! Yeah. Hey, hello, Ben, how are you doing?" But he'd been there since nine o'clock, and he was trying to contact us. He couldn't get all of us, so I think he went chocolate shop wasn't on his own. Yeah, he did. Uh, I think he was panicking a little bit, thinking. He knew we knew that. Yeah, he we must have knew we were there. Why yeah. you'd seen it on Twitter and stuff like that, and I'd obviously posted my video about it then on the oh, car right. chat one and that, so we knew we were there. But it was just nice something to turn up, it was a nice little surprise. Like Gav said, I did the same and all. I didn't forget, but you just kind of go to the back of your mind. You're well, you, you 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 yeah, yeah, like, through all the games and everything, talking to the sellers and all yeah. that. And, and then talking to Ben, he actually gave us a gift. I'd always said that I, I, I want to get the YouTube to get free stuff. And it's paying off. <laughs> Look at this. Makes you sound proper greedy, that like Chris. I am greedy. <laughs> I want anything for nothing. You want everything just, uh, for nothing. He said it was on one of his old Viz comics. Aye. Yeah, he said he, he said yeah, just through. He, there was a couple of other posters he's got in his room and all. So he's just cut the page out and put it in the frame. That's if I want it. It's a um, Oracle of Ages and Seasons poster, so thanks very much, Ben mate. It's appreciated. What do you mean? Makes it sound greedy. Why did you get the YouTube, Gav? To shut you up. All oh, right, I'll go for the free stuff. Yeah, yeah. They'll that, send us more. That might be what persuaded us in the end. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell yeah. people that, though. Right, the last person we met is um, never met before, but it was the first time. Uh, Mort from Mort's Moments. His yeah. channel is called. Is that what his channel is called? Or is, is, I think it's has a second one called Mort's Moments. I think it's Mort's Moments. Yeah. Yeah, but it's called Mort Murray Bund. I've Anybody got his here? card somewhere. You have? But I've lost it. Because I've put games on top of it and also it's there we are. Yeah. Music and memorabilia music and Yeah and he does he does a bit of all sorts of channel really, Lego stuff, um, retro stuff, a bit of all sorts. But he was at the last event at Leeds and um, I think we kind of like after the event I think he seen our video, I seen his video and we started messaging a little bit. And he says, oh, next time we'll have to make sure I meet. we meet up. Because he does a lot of, like, on sh he asks people what they bought on the day. So, he like, on his last video, we on it, show what we bought, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, he's saying this spot on that, like, so really nice to meet you, mate. And hopefully we'll meet you at more events. Yeah, I think that's more like Collectabalia. Or Leavers Marsh, channel. is it? The Collectabalia? I think they have one. Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it is next month anyway, or this month. But I'll leave his link in the description, the same yeah, as yeah. Ben and Lee, everyone who I mentioned, I'll just try and leave links for. Um, we'll go and check his channel out. Um, like you're saying, that's pretty much it. Have you got much to add on that? No, no. Um, Stephen was trying to flog us all of his PC games at the end, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, right. He <laughs> was like, I don't have any money left, Stephen. <laughs> it's like, go on, how many PC games are there? I think it was selling them for 50 pence each or something like that. And there was like, a candy box full left. He says, Tell you what, I'll give you them 10 pence each. How many is there? Yeah, he's <laughs> trying to get rid of I can't afford it, Stephen, man. Oh, he's spot on sale. Ah, he's, he's, he's cracking, like. crack crack bloke. Like. I was I was wanting to buy uh, Retro Games Fair mug because yeah. he sells the mugs for like, yeah, yeah. five. I was wanting to buy one or two of them just for when we do this and have, have a sip out of the mug, you know. But like I said, I had no money by the end of the event. I don't yeah. want to buy one at the start in case I see <laughs> some of the yeah. 
Are you, are you giving me a, a Game Boy case, didn't you? Just to see through a plastic case? Yeah. So I think the, the game I got from Retro John didn't have one in. I was joking on the stable later about it, and he says, Oh, I've got one on my stall, come, and, come by later. Mm -hmm. And the sons of what bass he actually grabbed us. Hey, Chris, grab that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's just a dash day, you know what I mean? But um, still, yeah, it's only a, done, I think we're selling them for like 20 pence each. Something like that, yeah. Like but it's still just a nice gesture just to hand one over. And like you said, he always looks after us and that, doesn't he? Um, yeah, he's spot on, mate. Yeah, certainly brilliant events. Yeah. What? So get yourself to the next one. Get yourself, I know, I should have already had some written down up next one. When they are. I think there's... Um, there's one in March sometime, I'm sure. one in March. I'm sure Stephen will leave a uh, comment in the, the, the comments yeah. below telling you when the next one is. So write there's, it down. There's one in June and all. There's, there's a super, super yeah, yeah. That's at the college in this. Leeds College at the University. Uh, university? Of the college, yeah. uh, one of the two. Which will be a big one. Yeah, he says it's massive and they've got a good bar. So yeah. Lee, they've got a good, well-stocked bar for you there. Yeah. You can get all your books, fizz and whatnot there. I don't know, you might be buying games. You start buying games, you know, Lee. Like, I've noticed, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Russ. Russ has started buying the yeah, games right. as well. Have to so. quit this drink and take more money for the games. <laughs> he doesn't buy his drinks. <laughs> <laughs> he just hangs around at the bar until someone gets someone. Yeah, it was class. The amount of people commented on the last video of Lee in this pint. <laughs> 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 it was funny, like it was. Yeah. Honestly, to spend a day with the lads is pleasure enough for me going out. Oh, yeah. These games are a bonus. You don't mind if you don't have a pocket full of money yeah. if, as long as you go with somebody for a bit of crack and stuff is yeah it? just walk around all day yeah. chatting to ben and lee it was um just worth it like yeah. saying yeah even the stall they just talking all the stall holders yeah, and, they're, they're and, and crack, steve yeah. too, just really good because i mean we, we had like the morning then us four disappeared out for a little bit didn't we for a little walk around mm -hmm. and had a bit of a chill out and yeah. we went back in it was just a uh, but we, we went when they started to get really busy, didn't we? Yeah. Which I think it's a good thing to do. Like, get in the first thing when it's quiet, and then, like, when all the crowds pour in. I mean, it doesn't take long for the no. crowds to pour in. We just had a quick fly around, got what we wanted, like any deals or whatever, whatever we saw, and then went out for a bit. Came back in at the end of the day when it was quieting and down. And, yeah. uh, just had a good bit of crack with all yeah, the stall holders and, uh, and a couple more, more deals. deals so, yeah. get the, get the I mean, deals. it was when they were all packing up pretty much, well, right before they were packing up, when I got Project Zero for a fiver, you know. And, uh, I mean, she had all sorts of good goodies on that stall, like. Yeah. But uh, you don't want to spend all your money on the first stall you come to, do you? No. Although you can't help it. I thought he did, I. The first stall was like, I've got. A, yeah, I've always it. I've got a hundred pound. <laughs> if, if, she had, if she had more, I'd, I'd have spent it all then. Oh yeah. So, like, see, but if I need it, I'll just get it, don't I? You know what I mean? So, at this moment in time, I'm not just buying what I fancy, I'm buying what I need to get my collection done, so... Don't it's... rush through it though, Chris. Don't just rush through your collection. I'm not nothing. Savour it, enjoy it. I am, actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, anyway, we're going to knock this off because you're just waffling now, anyway. Yeah, we'll knock this off because we've got to, we're going to do another one. Yeah, don't cast Or don't cast it, which will probably go up in a few days' time after this. So, stay tuned for that one. Keep your eyes open. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, I sound like Ben now. If you really enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> I'll see you later.